But are you doing anything where you're getting like baguettes and you're getting like a cheese or something and you're just making on the fly meals as you're going? Oh, absolutely. What yeah. were some of your best? So we there was actually one little village that I stopped into with the expectation of resupplying. So I was like pretty low on food and I was like, all right, I got to resupply for the next two or three days. And I get there and the one store in the town has closed for the season the day before I arrived. Wow. And I was like, oh crap. So I walk into this like bar and I get myself a coffee just trying to like figure out what I'm gonna do. And I'm talking to the bartender and I was like, is there any other store? And he's like, there's nothing for like miles. I'm like, cool, that's awesome. Love it, love it. Um, so he actually uh, went around the town to a bunch of people and had them like donate food to the wow. cause basically. Wow. And collected a pile of food with like apples and bread and meat and cheese and whatever, just like a pile of food on the table and was like, here, this will probably get you to the next point. And I was like, okay, that's amazing. So super kind. And then there was this, I think she was 87 or something. It's like 87 year old woman who's been making cheese for basically her entire life and sells cheese like more or less out of her living room. So she was also in the town and she sold me like a couple of blocks of cheese that was like some of the best cheese I've ever eaten. Mm. It's like sheep and goats cheese or something. Excellent cheese. And uh, yeah, put together this little like town funded resupply basically to get me to my next uh, waypoint, which is pretty cool.